I'm Terry Fong. I work at NASA Ames Research Center, where I'm the director of the Intelligent Robotics Group. At NASA Ames, we develop uh, robots to improve human exploration. Um, that is, we want to try to use robots to improve the way that humans can live and work in space. And uh, what is this you have here? Yeah, so this, this is the Smart Spheres. It's a free-flying space robot. Uh, there are three of these on the International Space Station right now, and we're developing these to offload routine, repetitive, and frankly mundane chores from astronauts. Uh, some of the jobs they have to do are actually pretty routine, repetitive, frankly mundane chores. Things like uh, monitoring the air quality or doing inventory. And those kinds of tasks which are very repetitive and frankly don't require you know, a lot of human brain power are the kinds of things that robots should do. It's a free flyer, so it can fly around in the 3D space. It actually has uh, these, uh, these little thruster nozzles that um, propel it through space by releasing little puffs of carbon dioxide. It actually has a tank that plugs into it. Um, I can show you on this side here. This tank here contains uh, uh, liquid carbon dioxide and we release it in controlled bursts to have this thing fly through the space station uh, in all six degrees of freedom. What did Google do on this project? So we've been working with Google for the, about the past year or so. Uh, as soon as we found out they were developing a new prototype Android smartphone, uh, that's this device over here. This is a Tango, um, although I should say this is actually a modified Tango because the, uh, the original one over here, which looks more like a smartphone, uh, you know, has a, a display in the front and cameras in the back. Well, in order to add this onto our free flyer, we wanted to make sure that we had everything facing forward. So we took the phone, we modified it, basically took the cameras, and then we, we flipped it out on this side here. But this is basically um, a, uh, an Android smartphone. It has a uh, set of, of cameras, including a 3D sensor, which gives it information about uh, the world. Uh, how far away are objects, you know, how big are objects, and we can use that to navigate. What I've just turned on here is uh, a, a, a 3D display and show on, on this display things that are red or closer, things that are dark blue or farther away. Uh, and so this smartphone, which is using a sensor, is pretty much the same sensor that you find in an Xbox Connect. Now has an ability to see the world in three dimensions. And we can use that to navigate, uh, to figure out where we are, to figure out where obstacles are, and to allow this robot to roam freely throughout the space station. The original spheres you know, looked like this. Uh, there, were, there was nothing attached to it. It's just this kind of round, volleyball-sized, uh, free-flying platform. You know, we wanted to add cameras, uh, high bandwidth, uh, data connection to it, a processor, a touchscreen. And when you add all those things up, it turns out to be, well, that's pretty much a smartphone. And so at that time, we started looking at you know, what kind of smartphones could we easily develop to. And Android happened to be a really good choice because it's open, so we can freely see the code, modify the code. Um, and then certify for use on the space station.